in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed there are three groups of people God is raising over an Anambra state in this season. Write it down and listen carefully. Number one, there will be a strange manifestation of the ministry of prophetic intercessors. Hear me, as I'm mentioning it, that anointing will be resting on those called into that dimension. Prophetic intercessors, there will be women of fire, women who understand the art of the altar. Hear me many women intercessory groups will arise by the spirit women who will pray revival men will be affected but there will be many women daughters of zion i ignite your spirit man i connect you with the mantle of the intercessor Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. That is number one. The mantle of the intercessor is resting upon an umbra. Men and women, you will see people who understand how to pray strategic prophetic intercessory prayers that can bring the program of God to bear some of you may be weak but you are stepping into seasons of intense consecration intense consecration no more distraction intense consecration the Bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and he says to run with perseverance the race set before us may you endure the consecration of an intercessor may you receive the burden of an intercessor that you will pray the program of God like Anna the prophetess like Simeon the prophet Number two, the second group of people that God is raising, hear me please, in a very strange way, there are two unique ministries that God is, um, I would not say bringing it for the first time, but God is emphasizing two unique ministries in Anambra State. Number one, is the ministry of evangelism number two is the ministry of the teacher these two ministries this is what god revealed to me he's restoring the evangelistic in his strength and power most of the evangelism we do in our territory is just a byproduct of a man's commitment but there are people anointed oh god pack the crusade grounds again Oh God, pack the amphitheaters again until genuine revival falls upon this land. Where are the revivalists? May that man to rest upon you. May that man to rest upon you. Rest upon your campuses. Rest upon the entire local government that make up an Ambra state. Strange evangelism with power, with signs and with wonders. Hear me. 
I'm not announcing this so that you will just sweep it under the carpet. It's what the Spirit of God wants to do. I had a little nap this afternoon. Please look up. I had a little nap this afternoon after the morning session and I saw a very strange vision. This is what I saw. I saw like a river and then I saw a strange spirit just came out of the river. It's like that spirit has been hidden in that river for a long time and it made people to practice certain things and maybe a season came where people prayed that thing away but I saw a reemergence, a reemergence of that spirit again and the Lord told me that I should pray that there is a spirit that will start making young men to start joining cult groups and associations because of wealth that there is a restoration of a, an ancient spirit this is what I saw Father we decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ I prophesy to the length and the breadth of an umbra state we speak lift up your heads oh ye gates be ye lifted ancient doors for the king of glory is making a triumphant entry over a number of stage. Therefore, we prophesy, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, over the land of a number of stage. Maranatha, upon the campuses. Maranatha, upon the churches. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is reintroducing the evangelistic and the teaching grace. I repeat, the teaching grace. Hear me. The only way believers become matured is through the sound exegesis of doctrine. If believers do not have a platform, regardless the church, where the precepts of the kingdom are methodically communicated there will be bankruptcy of growth within that territory according to jeremiah 3 15 and i will give you pastors that are according to my heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and with knowledge therefore i'm praying right now some of you are men of god some of you may seem like ordinary individuals lord where are those who you will open their eyes to the spirit of revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace of a teacher some of you are heading fellowship groups some of you are pastors already you have struggled with communicating doctrine i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead step into a new dimension of spiritual understanding a new dimension of spiritual understanding churches youth groups apostolic and prophetic platforms prayer groups step into superior dimensions of accurate understanding of the precepts of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ now listen very carefully i want to give you the third I told you the first kind of people that God is raising are prophetic intercessors. The second, they are ministers, but two ministries particularly, the evangelistic and the revelatory grace. Number three, in a very strange way, God is raising end time financial apostles. That was why God brought Dr. Cosmas. Many of you may, that's why I told you that what he was doing was not an interruption to the program. When I sat there, I said, this man is truly a spiritual man. He was not just shaking you. It was an extension of something the Bible calls the hand of fellowship. 
there are realms that you don't enter financially by buying and selling you are brought into it by those who carry the grace now i want to pray for you there are many men and women here you came for this meeting listen listen when we talk about the issue of finances i can assure you on time that many people have disappointed god it's easy like we dealt with yesterday to cry and roll under the anointing and say lord empower me do you know what it means to be a billionaire and yet still love the lord when i saw the man of god rolling on the ground and doing what he was doing i said how many billionaires who became billionaires through the dignity of kingdom integrity can have the open-heartedness to roll before jesus when david began to dance at the return of the ark saul's daughter looked at him and said why are you dancing undignifiably you are bringing shame to your status his reply i am dancing before the god who took the kingdom from your father and gave it to me god had that query and she died a barren woman hear me god is not looking for materialistic people god is not looking for people whose obsession about wealth is just to have cars and houses and earn respect no god is looking for men and women who he will trust as his treasurers in this kingdom and in this end time men and women whose hearts will never be connected to these resources and yet they will lay up gold as dust i want to release that grace and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved he said believe in the lord your god hear me anambra state is arguably the business hub of this nation so you are not naive and ignorant when it has to do with the principles that make for wealth and abundance many of you here were raised ethically and culturally to understand money and finances i'm not here to downplay your pedigree but hear me there is a dimension of wealth that comes through providing values and services but there is a dimension of wealth that comes through the power of the prophetic is an advantage to believers i want to release something upon someone now i'm standing in partnership with dr cosmos on that grace the grace that had, that lifted him and brought him to this position lord there is someone in this auditorium that you are you have anointed there has to be a man and a woman someone you will be using as a financial apostle to fund your end time project spirit of the living god where are these individuals i decree and declare from the front to the back from my left to my right may that mantle that came upon joseph and distinguish him economically may that mantle that came upon solomon i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now the grace to lay up gold as dust and yet your heart still connected to the things of god may that grace rest upon you now hear me some of you by reason of what has come upon you tonight there are people you were not supposed to meet but god will direct your steps and that one connection will open you up to a world of finances may it be so for you in the name of jesus now hear me everyone under the sound of my voice before we get to the next thing to do open your mouth in one minute 
and prophesy that I am advancing everything that has tied me down at the same level ministerially I decree and declare here at this conference this apostolic invasion over an Anambra state declare your exodus I move forward in ministry I go forward I break boundaries in the name of Jesus is someone praying Someone is praying. Why seekest you the living among the dead? God is lifting you. God is lifting you from that level. They will search for you where you were yesterday and not find you there again. Spiritually. Hallelujah. 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 What do you do? This man. Yes. Are you a pastor? Come. Your life is about to change. You are a pastor in Anambra here? Yes, sir. You, you, you pastor a church? Yes, sir. Your own church that God has given you? Or you're a resident pastor. Oh, you're a resident pastor? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I've not prayed that grace yet, but I will start with you. There is a strange grace for signs and wonders that you are about to move into. It will be such a phenomenal display of the power of God I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus you will drink of that wine the Lord will turn you to become like another man in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural display of signs and wonders receive that grace now now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same this is by the spirit of grace hallelujah i don't know who but i'm hearing before we pray for the sick i'm hearing that there is someone here the lord wants me to minister to is it your father or so you lost that person january january who is that because i'm seeing another death occurring next month and the lord is saying to cancel it who is that person please run quickly who is that your father died yes sir january yes sir. where are you from Obosi. i want this to pray Anambra for you state. where is this an this anambra state anambra state yes. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will die until the day is gone. There's not a friend. In the name of Jesus Christ that plague of death you don't have to kneel by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that sponsors the manifestation of the spirit of death here in this conference we agree as the church of the lord jesus christ this woman i'm seeing an anointing come on her this one who is kneeling right now i'm seeing an angel pour oil on this woman on her knees in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's opening a door that has been closed over your life I release that grace right now. May that door be open now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name that is above all names, 
everything that wants oppression to arise the second time over these families we cancel it now in jesus name we cancel it now in jesus name i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well is there a name like chide berem is does it make sense is there something like that chide who is that i just had chide berem it's like you're a woman i don't know if it's male or female now who is that please make sure you are not telling lies well can somebody verify that they are telling it ends with an m -O. is m does it make sense if i'm making a mistake forgive me i'm just telling you what i'm hearing chide berem huh i want to pray for you because for one of you here the month of july will be a strange month for your family very strange month god is going to open doors in a way that will surprise you father i pray for these people i don't know who that person is but i stretch my hands right now please don't be offended i'm not a prophet of doom but there is somebody god is asking me i have to pray for you now you were supposed to inherit and i don't mean with all due respect to every culture represented here but i'm seeing somebody it's like there is a shrine you are supposed to inherit it i don't know if it's from your father or something you they told you you are the person who is that you are the one i have to pray for you this thing has destroyed this man's life i must pray for you hallelujah thank the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah thank the glory revive us again hallelujah thine the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah thine the glory revive us again someone right now is being healed of fibroid I'm, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly but i just saw it as i sang this song the second time you will feel movement physically right now as i'm speaking in your stomach you will know that something is leaving you father in the name of jesus my sister look at me this lady tap her for me shout jesus as loud as you can I decree and declare can I tell you there is nobody who should be forced to worship any shrine or whatever it is even Jesus Christ knocks at the door of your heart and waits for you to be open nobody should budge into your destiny using whatever guys I use you as a point of contact every evil that this plague is bringing to you to make sure that you have to go and bow to whatever demonic practices in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you free now. I declare you free now. May the light of the glorious gospel penetrate to all who are concerned and let there be liberty from the practice of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You all return to your seats in the name of Jesus. Now I want to pray for the sick. You are trusting God. You came here trusting God for a miracle in your body. I want you to lay your hands right there. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is able to heal. Can I tell you? When I saw again, I would use him. Dr. Cosmas jumping here. Jumping like a little boy. Some of you who are younger than his last child may not be able to jump up. I saw our father, Bishop Onugogo jumping and literally jogging to come up here this is 83 going 84 there is a grace not only for longevity but for health i want to pray that grace upon you now please listen carefully 
there are people here you have struggled with sickness and infirmity one of the ministries that must be restored before Jesus returns is the healing ministry there is never a testimony of genuine revival without a manifestation of the healing power of Jesus can I tell you why the healing ministry is important I will tell you everyone is given the privilege of having one body per lifetime you are only entitled to one body per lifetime no 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 don't bring them out until I ask you to please take them back now this woman I'm seeing is that cancer who brought her is that cancer what is it What's, who brought her? Somebody should give us. Huh? She came herself? I brought her. My elder sister. What happened? She had a heart condition from childhood around from my three from my four. She had issues over, over through the years. Around 2009, she was flown to the U.S. where she, they performed the heart surgery on her. She came back. It continued up till now. Then before you knew it, I think it affected some of her organs. Her belly started inflammating like... A lot of things that's how she, she just became complicated like this sir. we are trusting we are planning to attend last miracle service but we couldn't attend it even this sunday we are planning to to attend koinonia abuja this sunday this coming sunday and all of a sudden from niger state where i'm serving i just rushed home i took night bus came back this this morning and then we are at the hospital they just told us you are here no plans we didn't know you are coming to work and that is how we that is how we just came here this evening sir Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. Now, look at this. Look at this beautiful lady, a young lady like this, plagued with all kinds of demonic things, not given an opportunity to live a meaningful life. This is how you carry her around? Huh? This is how you carry her around? Yes, sir. Yes. She's your elder sister. My direct elder sister. Even my brother is here. The first person we should celebrate is you. Not even her. For having that heart and that love for her. I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly. Now, please hear me. You don't have to walk away with any infirmity you came here with tonight. It's unnecessary. You see, let me tell you this. Before you believe a man, find out about him. Jesus left us his scripture, the word of God, so that we can go through it. And then we'll leave. I didn't come alone. I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. And Ambra, hear me. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah, tis only that you look and leave. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah, tis only that you look and leave. Lee. place your hand right there where you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch please lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch now two things will happen here right now two things we're working with time so that we don't keep you unnecessarily long watch this I am going to pray for you right now some of you even whilst you were under the anointing all kinds of miracles have happened to you I'm going to be praying for you right now and releasing the healing power of Jesus. Please, may I request maybe one or two pastors to come stand here with the mic? Because as soon as I pray for you, the moment the power of God touches you and you see that you are healed, I am going to request that you check yourself and you run and come and stand here. Some of you already, the power of God has touched you. We will take a few testimonies here. And then the next thing we'll get into is praying over the request. 
so make sure while you are standing if you are yet to write your request everyone or if you are yet to contact your loved ones to send in their request you still have a minute or two to do that and then the final prayer and impartation and then i will be done hallelujah now please listen no distraction i want to pray for the sick i have been sick myself i know what it means to be oppressed of the enemy but then i know what it means also to experience the victory and the triumph that comes in and through christ lay your hands please everyone if you came with a sick person here here is your moment to lay your hands on those people take your eyes away from the sickness and look up to jesus and as i pray i'd like you to open up your spirit and shout a believing amen and believe that that which plagues you will give way right now take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me just hold the person there I'm about to pray I'm seeing them trying to bring somebody out no please don't don't stress anyone ushers or protocol guide them just keep the people somewhere there I will pray for them you are the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost take your place take your place take your place take your place there will be a loud shout by a lady right now immediately after that shout the healing power of jesus will begin to flow i don't know why the holy spirit does this thing sometimes it's a ministry of signs and wonders a loud shout to the hearing of everybody the power of god will come upon a lady now i begin to pray in the name of jesus christ my god something is happening here in the name of Jesus Christ help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out healing is happening right now help them my God please help them so they don't enjoy themselves in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit at the back of any infirmity I come in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and I decree and declare be lifted from the life of these people now and I declare over your body be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you life and healing right now help them please I rebuke every devil of infirmity cancer be healed in Jesus name fibroid be healed in Jesus name migraine God is healing migraines be healed in Jesus name now, there is someone, I don't know if you have a problem with your mind, madness, or some kind of um, psychosomatic issue. The power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Heart conditions. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. There's someone, your right eye. Severe pain, you cannot see well. I command that eyes to be open now every blind eyes here represented be open in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open in the name of Jesus anyone having any bone condition or any issue that is affecting your mobility 
be healed now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone I don't know if it's boils like an allergy something you have in your skin very terrible condition the power of God is touching you right now are you shouting a believing amen I'm seeing a lady the right side of your breast you have a lump I command that lump to disappear now the Lord is healing hepatitis hepatitis B be healed right now in the name of Jesus there is a condition called gastritis in the name of Jesus I declare healing for such a person there's someone you can walk but you are having severe difficulty because around your lumbar area here there is severe pain this man is a man of God the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ particularly I'm seeing someone the left side of your ear you couldn't hear very well right now I command that ear to pop open now I'm seeing someone with pains around your kneecap your kneecap particularly please help those under the anointing there in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now there is a gentleman you are not able to lift your hands up to this level I think I don't know what is the problem lift it up right now I bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing in the name of Jesus there is someone I don't know what happened to you but it's like you don't smell completely nothing exactly is wrong with your nose but it's like your sense of smell there's something wrong with it the power of God is resting upon you right now and God is bringing restoration now whether I mention your case or not be healed in the name of Jesus I'm seeing I'm seeing someone you, you have a loved one who has kidney issues you have a loved one who has a kidney issue right now the power of God is touching that person and if there are those connecting in hospitals across this nation and across the globe I bring you the life and the power of Jesus right now be healed in the name of Jesus whether you are following life or you are watching a rebroadcast by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed in Jesus name waist pain severe pain around the waist area is being healed right now now even though I have prayed for pregnant women but the Lord is showing you a woman something happens to you every time you take in you go to bed and you have a very strange dream and the next thing you begin to bleed and that's the end of that pregnancy the power of God right now as I'm speaking is resting upon you an end comes to that oppression heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus HIV be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of recurring sickness be healed in the name of Jesus blood disease blood disease be healed in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here who is a sickler I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit we change your genotype now in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord 
grant me the discipline 